Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator and welcome back to Rust. That's right, we're back again and today is a special day. Today, we are running my first ever custom map. Uh, so I actually made this map that we're playing on. I know it looks like just your average Rust map. And that's because it is, actually. It is just your average Rust map, except there's a bunch of additions. There's uh, new monuments and new world generation stuff going on. Uh, all sorts of cool things to discover. I've placed loads of things around the map and uh, people are going to be having a great time like running around like trying to find them. Also, um, I think I found one of the custom things already. Yeah, look, this is one of the, the caves, dude. Look at this. This is like an old one of the old caves in, in Rust. Um, if you played the game back in the day, you'll remember these. You can build in them, actually. Um, I don't think we're going to build in this one, but uh, this is here, actually. We've got we've got an old cave, which is, is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to discover, and uh, obviously I, I made the map, so uh, I, I have seen it all already. Uh, but you know, I, I'll, I'll showcase things to you guys as well. I'd like to, to show off some of the, the stuff. Uh, I do have to thank Lone, uh, who made a lot of the prefabs that we're using uh, for this map. Um, so shout out to Lone, his website has a ton of stuff on it. We're going to try and continue our goal from last wipe, which was to take on the tank. Um, I know, believe it or not, we're still going to try and do it. Uh, which means we do need to build near the launch site. There is a launch site on the map. Uh, there is also this monument here. There is no marker on this, but uh, it's a very, very cool monument. So one cool thing that we've got, actually, uh, interestingly, is um, the oil rigs. The oil rigs have a ton of radiation at the start of the wipe. Uh, so for the first 24 hours of the wipe, the oil rigs are basically going to be off limits, which is kind of an experimental thing that we tried to do for this, this custom map. Um, to just see if it like affects progression in any, any way and you know uh, makes it so that people try out some of the stuff on the land. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, there's a gas station. Okay, actually, here's one of the first custom things up here. Check this out. This is actually one of the monuments that I made myself. Um, I made this one myself. Uh, it's just kind of like a fun little idea that I had. Check this out. So we go in. Oh, they're dead. Okay, someone's actually done this already. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there was a key card here, but it's... it's oh, well, they left this. All right. <laughs> uh, well, we got something. They must have missed that. All right, sick. We got a rifle body. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, the first, the first like, custom thing that I made. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. Uh, we got the old, the old gas station with uh, zombies in it. We can get out like this way. The other big change is that most of the monuments now have SAM sites around them, um, which will prevent people from flying minicopters to do uh, all the monuments without do without any key cards. Because okay. the whole idea of it is like people skip all of the key cards and they go straight to doing uh, flying minicopters on top of the, the launch site building and uh, other monuments. So I've added more. Sam sites and they're indestructible. You can't kill them now because usually people just sit there with a rock and destroy them. We're, we're like near the outpost. I want to run past it though. I don't really want to go in. Um, I do also want to get some tools, so we'll, we'll try and get those along the way. We'll just pick up stuff off the ground probably, and we'll we'll try and get some tools. I know where I would like to build, but we'll see if we can do it. I did have to do a few things before I joined, so kind of near the dome. Uh, dome is actually a bit better as well. Dome, there's a green card room I've added to it as well. There's a, a, an actual green card door there. He doesn't have doors. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try and fight right now. I want to try and get, like, to the area that I want to live first, and then, and then we'll worry about fighting. Ah, there it is. Look. Look at that fucking huge rock. Okay, let's see if, let's see if we're, we're actually cleared to build on this thing. Someone might have already came here and claimed this, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll climb up there. It's a very, very big rock. I'll say that. It's fucking massive. So, it's just up here. I'm gonna get a tool cupboard, and we're gonna get some more trees, and we'll maybe try and secure a TC. Trying to get up this is gonna be the fun bit, because it is kind of a, a tricky one to climb. There is also this little area here, this cubby hole. Look at this. We could build in here as well. If, if like, someone else takes the top, we could probably live down here. <laughs> um, we could build like in this little cubby hole area. Yeah, so as you can see, this is a real big rock. <laughs> it's really, really big. Um, and you guys know me, I like my rocks. Oh, see, there is like this little area here where we could build too. So I don't really know the way up. There is like a path that goes all the way up, but it's kind of hard to remember. Yeah, I think we're on the right track. Look at the size of this thing, dude. It's crazy. 
Try not to fall off. That's a long drop. Oh, yeah, we did it. And... Oh, we're clear. We're clear. All right, let's get a tool cupboard. All right, sick. Uh, now we need to go get some materials to secure this up. But look at this, dude. Look at all this space we have. And look at the overview we have from up here, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so glad. I really wanted to build up here. I really thought someone else would get to it before me, though. Um, but I guess there's loads of places to explore. Um, so from up here, we can kind of see things. So over there, that is the shipping facility. It replaces the excavator. That's where the excavator used to be. And uh, it's a really good monument, that one, actually. There's also a submarine off the coast underwater out there. Uh, so that's another one. Uh, but we're also near the launch site, which is where our target is, the old Bradley, um, which we do want to try and take out today. So, well, this wipe. So for now, and the cool thing is with this, look, we can actually build like sub, sub bases around here too, um, which will be useful if we want to like block off like parts of the pathway up. Um, can make it very hard for people to get up to the top. So we'll maybe think about doing that. Yeah, we're going to try and... Oh. Oh. Wow, he came out of nowhere, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, sick. So, we've got a whole bunch of resources here. Let us actually start trying to get back up top. Alright, here we go. Let's first of all finish reinforcing this to stone. Thing is, our base is like at the, the highest point of the map right now, so this is kind of probably gonna be a big target. <laughs> Anyone who wants this rock, they're gonna be like, fuck this guy. Right, so come morning, we need to head down and probably kill an animal and get some low grade for furnaces. We'll maybe head down to the road as well and try and get some components and shit for a level one workbench. Uh, but yeah, this mining outpost here, this is the submarine. Uh, it's just marked as mining outpost because uh, there was no way to, to mark it as submarine, unfortunately. And I wanted people to at least know where it was. Oh man, someone's claimed the, the bridge. Look. Fuck. Because I made it so you could build on it. Um, this bridge. I'm kind of glad that someone's claimed this. Because uh, I was hoping someone would build on that, you know. Alright, so check this out, right? Now some of you guys might recognize this place. If you ever played Call of Duty 4. <laughs> You'll recognize this as a uh, shipment. Um, we've just got it as a little area here. And the green card is gone. Okay, someone's already looted this then. Oh, I see a guy. He's going the other way though. No, he's coming kind of this way. Oh, and there's another guy chasing. Kind of want, want to play this out. Yeah, this guy had nothing. Um, the other guy is gone. Fuck, should have went for the other guy. Um, oh, whatever. No, he sees me. Got him. Get a little bit of low grade. We could recycle some of this, though, at the, uh, the gas station back here. I might do that. Should be a thing. We also grab any of these these uh, red barrels here just to get a little bit. We might end up with enough for a furnace. All right, not bad. We got 153 scrap, 240 uh, metal frags, and 8 high qual. Oh, uh, barrels have spawned here. So maybe there'll be a key card here now. Yes, perfect. So, it's worth pointing out, I didn't design all of the monuments, done like, like a few changes. For the most part, like, the monuments were designed by Lone, whose website can be found in the description of this video, so... Uh, I don't really know the layout of uh, most of the monuments, like, especially that one over there, it's a very big one. I don't really know the layout of it very well. Um, I've, like, obviously done a few tweaks and stuff to it, but for the most part, I'm still kind of learning it. Alright, so, what I think I'm gonna do now, is we're gonna grab the key card and a fuse, and we're gonna go towards the dome because there is a new key card room there and also this little patch here there is a bunker there which there is also a green key card area there so uh we're gonna go check those out and see if we can get some loot 
I should really have like a resource farming base like on ground level that we can store resources in like that we quickly gather. I might actually build one. All right, how about this? So now we can just store stone in here. You actually see it from there. You see that little room up there? Yep, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's the key card room. There isn't a box here, so people may have looted this. It's just whether the card room is looted. That's the main question right now. All right, so here's a switch. Just over here. Turn that on. First of all, just see if there's any loot up on the main area. There is not. Oh, that's the, the new camera there as well. Look. So, is there stuff in there? There is one crate, it looks like. And there is a card. I'm going to go for the card. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. There's usually a couple of normal crates here too, but I'm not seeing them. Ah, uh, there is actually a sneaky elite crate as well. Ah, there it is. Look. Fuck. Where? I'm gonna grab it and go. He's down below me, okay. I don't think it's possible. Fuck, he's moving. This is risky as fuck. Yep, I fucked it. Wait, we have a bag here. Maybe we can get to... Oh, did I just cancel? I think I cancelled. Something tells me he's going to get to my body before I do. I should have thrown the C4 on him, dude. That would have been the best. If we can get back quick, he might not actually know where we landed. If we can find our stuff, that'd be great. The thing is, it's getting dark too, so that's going to help. If we, can... we, we should... I don't have a marker because I fucking disconnected by accident. So I don't know which side I fell off. If we just run around the bottom, we should find our body, but without a torch on. There. Did I just hear him right next to me, or is that something else? Okay, maybe that was the best strategy, was to just run and fall. <laughs> yeah, look, he's still up there looking. I, think he, I don't think he realizes I fell all the way off. Should we do the bunker? We're right here, actually. So you're down. It's like the hatch from Lost. And... Uh, I don't quite remember what loot is here, so... And I threw away my torch, I think. Because I'm stupid. I don't know if there's a blue card in here. There is a t-shirt. Oh yeah, that opens this. This is kind of difficult without a light. Uh, I wish I hadn't thrown away my torch. I think there's stuff in here, unless someone's looted it, which they might have done. Let's just open up and go. We'll run home. Press that button. And then we open up this. Oh, all in all, decent trip, dude. C4. If we can get this home, that'd be sick. There is actually one more monument right here, I think. Through through this way. Yeah, over here. Oh, hello. <coughs> so, there's a little puzzle here. There is crates in the water. You just flip this, turns it off. Very simple puzzle. Uh, for however long. Oh, someone's already done it, it looks like. I don't see the crates. I haven't really checked this one out, really. I just placed this one in here by itself. But there is usually a couple of military... Like, there's like one military crate in there. But you have to like turn off the coils. So someone's already done it. Uh, I really thought we died for good there. Like... <laughs> I think we're done uh, for, for the first episode of The Wipe. Uh, we've done quite a bit. Checked out a few of the uh, additions uh, to this map. We've checked out some of the, like, we checked out the shipment yard over there. Um, we checked out the bridge over there. Uh, we checked out, the, obviously, the dome, key card room, and the bunker. Uh, we will do some more of this uh, next time, and we'll try and maybe get a level 2 bench and a gun and stuff. So, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed and if you're liking this, this map so far. Um, I'm having a lot of fun on it, you know, considering I made it, but, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun, dude. It, it, it does seem fun, so I hope other people are having fun, too. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.